Good morning. This is James Thompson with KW Engineering. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial for how to install KW Psychrometric Functions add-in into Microsoft Excel. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download our zip file from KW Engineering's website at www.kw-engineering.com. The zip file indicated here on the right hand side of my screen uh, and contains in a folder. Within that folder there are two uh, sets of templates, one for 2003 and one for 2007 versions of Excel. The 2007 version of the templates works for all versions of Excel after 2007. There's a PDF file for help and guidance in using the functions. There's a license agreement and the add-in file itself. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the add-in file and you're going to copy it into your Microsoft Office library folder. Everybody's library folder resides in a little bit of a different location depending on your precise operating system and office configuration. Our office is Microsoft Office 2016. Thus, I have the following path. Once it's in there, you just need to open Excel to a normal blank workbook. Go to the File menu, Options, select Add-ins on the left-hand side. Make sure that Micromanage Add-ins is selected at the bottom of the pull-down window, and hit Go. In the new dialog window, you're going to have all of the add-ins in your add-in library and any other add-ins that you've added manually. As we can see, the Psychometric Functions library is here, and it's checked. If you'd like to put it in a different directory, feel free to. Um, at this step, you will just browse to whatever directory you've installed your ad. To test that we've installed and configured uh, the add-in correctly, we can just start using some of the functions. And when the function wizard prompts you uh, to use a complete psychrometric function name, in this case wet bulb or uh, humidity or humid ratio, you know you've set up the file properly. If we wanted to use one of the templates, at this stage we could do so. Now, depending on your system settings, you may need to enable editing. So once we've enabled editing, we can go and we can look at some of our example calculations here on the example sheet. And when we look into the function, we see that the humidity ratio shows up. There's no name errors. It's another indication that we've done a, a, an OK job setting this up. Alternatively, you may see a full file path. Um, they'll start with a apostrophe, and I'll say something like C colon blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you see that in your file path, that's an indication that uh, Excel is looking for your add-in in the wrong place. Um, if you've installed it properly, you can delete all of the file path um, and just leave the site function, at which point Excel will look for the default location rather than the specified location in your workbook. Hopefully this is enough uh, to get you started with the site functions. I want to thank you for your time uh, and remind you that you can get the Excel site functions from our website www.kw-engineering.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.